In this video, I'm going to show you how to revoke permissions to certain websites you might have connected to, certain exchanges, etc. in MetaMask. So if you go to MetaMask here and you have your different blockchains that you've connected to. So you have Avalanche, you have Ethereum, etc., etc. And you go to Assets, these are all your, all your coins, right? So let's say you've used Pan Pan Pancake Swap, for example, before. And let's say they have a vulnerability or something, any website, especially if you do yield farming and mining. There's all kinds of shady websites out there. So anyway, all you got to do is go to DBank and Connect Wallet up here. So you have to have the, the MetaMask Chrome extension. That should be pretty obvious. If you're watching this video, you know what MetaMask is. So just connect it. And next, connect. And then go to profile. And this is gonna list by blockchain. So this is all the chains you're connected to. This is NFTs, history approval, etc. So this is your portfolio of all the coins across all the blockchain. So this is kind of cool. So if you wanna see all of the coins you own across all blockchains and MetaMask without having to go to them one by one. Um, another way to do this, just real quick, would be here. So for Ethereum, you could go here and you could go to view on Etherscan. And because sometimes the prices don't calculate properly for the coins that you own, then you can go here and you can look here. And so this is all this stuff on the Ethereum blockchain you have. Anyway, so the only thing you got to do, you just got to go to approval. So these are all the, so Shiba Swap I have approved. And this is my risk exposure is $8. So if this was risk exposure of like $10,000, it's something I probably would want to decline, right? So this is for Ethereum. This is for BSC, so the, the Binance Smart Chain, DAI, Polygon, Phantom, etc. And you just go one by one and just decline, the, the revoke the permissions you want to get rid of. Now, there's going to be some that it's not able to identify. So all you do is click on it. And sometimes you can see here... Okay, it didn't pick up anything. Sometimes it'll you can kind of pick it up here as to what's going on. If not, all I do is I just Google it, and I'll see one key if you're the cake worker. So that's a um, a mining project. I was uh, and I still have money in it, but you know it's a, it's a mining project. And those can be those can be kind of shady. So that and I, I'm still mining, so that's not that something I'm going to get rid of. But that's how you can determine it. So you just d determine what contract this is associated with. So that's it. Um, so hopefully this helped quick video and hopefully this helped and see ya.